considers that the worst disease that can strike a human being is kufr and shirk. Disbelief in God. Ascribing partners to God. These women and children living in these non-believing societies, shirk societies, paganistic societies, these women and children need to be saved from such a society. So what does Islam do? When, let's say, they are captured, Islam takes them into a Muslim community, and we're assuming that it's a healthy community, a just community, one by the Prophet, one by the Imam, like that community in Medina which the Prophet he himself established, where people are God-fearing. People will not be unjust with their slaves. So Islam takes these women and children to a healthy Muslim society and raises them. And then gradually, they will get freed. Because that's what would happen. Because of the kafaras, because of the encouragement of the Prophet, eventually many Muslims would free the slaves. So that's one way to take them in to your society, raise them, raise the kids, you know, educate the women, let's say, or even some of the men who would be taken as prisoners of war, and then free them. So this is actually good for them. You're saving them from a shirk society to a believing society.